and welcome to another budget and lego video now this is the 2009 mondeo the one that stopped on the road and it's not starting now what i did on my last video of the mondeo that wasn't starting and we now know it's the pump i took off the filter and i showed you the inside of the filter and it was just full of gold we struck gold which in this case is not a good thing so i also opened up this one to show you because this one was good to show you what it should look like but what i did notice is this was half full of diesel so what i've done is i've just filled this up full of diesel and we're going to now see the fault codes and see what happens that's all i've done now if this is not getting diesel then it could be uh, a problem with our tank feed so this pipe here is our tank feed and maybe we've got a blockage or an issue with our tank feed so let's see what uh, um, codes we've got if any and then we'll go from there sorted Ford now let's see what error codes we get position two yeah it's on Now all I know is he was driving this absolutely perfect. Again, this is another garage car. An engine has been fitted. He was driving it for a few weeks, doing a few bits it needs for the test, driving it to the test, and bang, just stopped out of nowhere. So, very similar to the other one. So let's go to, we'll select, just wanna to go to power control module. I have cranked the engine a few times. I shouldn't really have done that. I just wanted to make sure the battery and everything was good. Um, read faults. Retrieve them. And the reason why I shouldn't have done that is because I could have built up the pressure. Oh, again. P0087. Same as the last one. Uh, what happened? So the engine was 41 degrees. Um, total mileage to two. What was the, we don't have any other readings. We don't know how fast it was going or anything like that. So in this case, the, um, the save data isn't really any good to us because it really just says how hot the car was. It doesn't say how fast the person was going. So we'll just click out of that for the minute. Let's go into live data. The battery doesn't seem great in this either. So that's another reason I shouldn't have cranked it over. Um, battery voltage. Fuel pressure. We'll just go for that for the minute. So we'll go OK. 62 PSI. Yes, yeah, so that was me cranking it. Um, battery isn't great. So let's just let this heat up. Oh, oh, it started. What is that noise? Right, I didn't start when I was cranking it first. I think I've built up the pressure. That's frustrating now, that is. That can really screw me up. Um, but there's some horrible squealing coming from there. So let's see what that squealing is. I'm gonna quickly start this again. That's horrible. Right, that's absolutely horrible. I don't know if something is seized, like alternator, power steering, pump, um, pulleys, 
air conditioning, but there's something squealing. But what I am annoyed about is I cranked this first and I really shouldn't have done. But as you can see from our other one, we had the same codes, but this pump is okay. This was a fuel starvation issue, but all I did is fill up that and cranked it a few times. That's all I did. And then I turned it off and I turned the camera back on again. I just wanted to check the battery and stuff, but I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, but we've got another issue here now this squealing belt. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the belt off and uh, we're going to see if the squealing stops. If the squealing stops, we know we've got an issue with swing on the belt. If the squealing doesn't stop, we've got an issue with swing in the timing belt part. So let's see. Right. I rev it up. It kind of stops squealing. Yeah, so if I rev it up, it stops squealing. And if I keep that rev... When we go back to the live data, we can see the pump is good and it's actually um, charging the battery. Well, according to the data anyway. So... I think we've got a fuel delivery issue here. Sounds horrible that. So we've got a fuel delivery issue. So we could have a block tank in this case. All I've done is leave it ticking over. That smoking is a bit of the diesel I spilt filling this. But I think we've just got a fan belt issue maybe a tension or something we'll look into that but what i'm more concerned about is why did it originally stop i've got to leave this ticking over and see if she cuts out because i think we've got a fuel delivery issue but at least we know now the pump and the injector side is okay but i think we've got a fuel delivery issue here so the tank might have to come down on this one Speaking to the guy that owns it and watch this. Oh, you're not doing it now, you bitch. As I was turning it, she was squeaking like hell. That's what the squeaking was. Dodgy power steering pump. And the guy did say, yeah, I'm having problems with that power steering pump. So, that squeaking, oh, come on. It's not going to do it now. Was the power steering pump. He's put a brand new fan belt on it. So we know it's not the fan belt it's the power steering pump but it's still running so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to keep running this and see if we can get it to cut out and then i'm going to have to check the tank all right let's see if we can get it to squeal again there we go and i'm struggling now the steering's gone nice and soft the steering was very jerky so there we go dodgy power steering pump for that and uh, let's see if we can get down to the bottom of the diesel. People, this just stopped. Ignition lights are on, it was just ticking over. You can see it was heating up and it's just stopped. It went bang. So let's go back to the uh, scan data and see what the story is. Battery, fuel pressure. Hopefully this will actually do it. Oh, it does, yeah. Right, we're down to 30 psi. Just dropping, dropping, dropping. Right, this isn't going to start. So, now we've recreated our initial problem, which is brilliant. Right, what do we know? Well, we know our pump and injectors are fine because I've taken this up and down the road for a spin and it's absolutely perfect once it started. I brought it back and it cut out after say another five minutes of driving. Now, after another five minutes taking over, we know we've got an issue with the power with the power steering, but that again, that's nothing to do with us at the minute. This came to us for not starting. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna see, um, I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. Just wanna see what sort of fuel 
is in here now. I'm not going to be able to undo this, am I? No, let me just uh, undo that and see how much fuel's in there. We now know we're not getting enough fuel to the pump, but we know the pump is working. So it has to be a fuel delivery issue with the feed pipe coming from the tank. Now, we could have some weird thing collapsing inside here. We could have an issue inside the tank, but we know we've got a fuel delivery issue. And this is why I'm saying we had the same codes as the other one. The other one had a bad pump and this one pump is good. So same car, same codes, two different problems. All right, I've just loosened it. Let's get the tank off. Yeah, look at that. No fuel in there at all. Completely dry. So we've definitely got a fuel delivery issue here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back, pour some diesel down there, fill it up, and try and start it and see what happens. Right, so what I've done is I have uh, just filled the, the, uh, the diesel filter back up and I've blown the feed pipe with my airline. I've blown it back to the tank just to, just to kind of move the blockage. There we go, took a while, we're building. My battery's now going. Right, that's enough pressure to start. Why aren't we starting? Now it took a while to build, but maybe uh, I just put a jump pack on our battery. There we go, straight away. Oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. And yeah, that's going again. But that's it. It's our problem. And you can see yeah, we've got a horrible issue. The hotter it gets, it goes out of it, but... So, he's got a power steering issue. He's got a fuel delivery system blockage, whether it's the pipe or the tank. But again, I'm not going to be doing this job, but I don't think I will be anyway. But that's it, people. So that's it. So I hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, don't forget I'll leave the links to everything, all the uh, diagnostic equipment, the launch diagon, down in the description below. And uh, yeah, so in this case, blocked fuel issue or fuel block issue, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, that's all it is. So there we go. So look, I hope you like it. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.